Hello, this is T Mac from www.wildfitoutdoors.com. Now, I'm here to make some venison stew. Here is the basic components of my stew venison, hind quarter, cubed up into half inch squares, got a cup of flour, some mixed vegetables I cut up and froze. It's a carrot, onion, and celery. Some green beans I canned up this year from the garden. And some beef stew mix or seasoning. And potatoes. I got the potatoes over here. I gotta get them cut up. That's all you need to make some stew. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do in a hot pan, I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. Get that nice and hot, and I'm going to mix my flour and my venison. Alright, get that all mixed up, test my pan heat. While that's getting hot, I'm going to go ahead and dice up these potatoes. We do not skin potatoes very much around here. I just think that takes away from it, so I like my potatoes skin on. Alright. Yeah, it's getting hot. Go ahead and add our meat. Right in the pan there. Let that fry up. Add a little more oil to that. Cube these up just like the meat about half inch cubes or so. You want everything to be kind of the same. Alright, meat's getting cooked up a little bit. Some of it's sticking to the bottom, that, that, that don't matter. When you add your liquid, that'll come right off. But adding my potatoes, I like a lot of potatoes. Add my veggies. Add my homegrown green beans. Let that simmer together just for a little bit. We'll be back. All right, before that gets done all the way, add your beef stew seasoning. Oh yeah, that smells good. All 
and I'm going to add six cups of water. We're going to let that slow cook about an hour. Check on it later. All right, we got this beef stew boiling pretty good. And uh, that flour that I rolled that meat in at the first, that's what makes this so thick. And uh, while it's doing this right now, that's when you want to add your beef bouillon. If you're using the cubes, I'd say of four bouillon cubes, I'll be plenty. Uh, I buy it in a jug, so I use probably a tablespoon of beef bouillon right in there. All right, so we got going on here. Well, there you have it, venison stew with T Mac. Be sure you got it on the stove simmering. Come in there and stir it. Uh, probably 30 45 minutes. Everything, wait until, uh, until your potatoes are soft and your carrots are soft. And there you go. Venison stew. Bubba, you want some of this? Yeah.